tale and I like mysteries and it's easier to be around dead people. One of my very first jobs was actually at a funeral home. I helped move bodies. I sometimes would man the crematorium. I would set up for viewing services. It was just because it was the only place I would hire a 14 year old. I really kind of saw a lot of stuff I didn't necessarily need to see, but it kind of desensitized me. I love changing into different characters. When I was nine, I used to put towels on his turbans and take my mom's jewelry and pin it right here and then take sheets and put little jewelry around them and swan around like this. A lot of people take drugs or drink and do things like that so they can separate from themselves, but when you do actually do a part where you separate and detach from yourself and you're just kind of gone, that really is the best drug. I laughed from beginning to end. She's a bit spicy, a little nutty, sometimes unpredictable, and all in a good way. My experience today was fabulosity. Yusai is a thick-ass photographer. I'm obsessed with his hair, especially with light behind it, because then all you see is this kind of rooster thing going back and forth. And who couldn't be happy looking at that? Not really. I think I learned something new on this shoot. I had to let her be part of the creative process. And when that happened, when she felt sexy, it sparked something really beautiful. It was magical. I was staying in LA with a friend and this lady that you know, said, you'd be so perfect for this Greg Rocky film. Have you ever thought of being an actress? I'm like, no. So she kept calling, calling, calling. Finally, I was like, well, how much money is it? And I realized it was enough money for first, last, and deposit. So I wouldn't have to move back to Seattle and live with my dad. And that's how I became an actor. Nice. Get clown the kids.